Hello everybody from social media and our website. Um, it's Eric Straitmans um, talking to you on April, April 8th, April 8th, Wednesday. And the big announcement just happened today at one o'clock, two o'clock. And I really didn't want to have to do this to everybody again. But once again, Ontario government has put us into lockdown. Um, so the third time <laughs> we're getting a little better at this every time this happens but it's still a pain in everybody's butt it's a pain for the clients that are already here it's a pain for the clients that already signed up and are waiting it's also a pain for clients that want new classes so i just want to explain how we do this every time there's a lockdown and it'll be everything will be on your contract and written um the whole class will all the classes will move forward um so if i had a class today <laughs> And we're winning one more night tonight. I don't know when the 815 class, but let's say they're in five, week five. Um, when we redo open, hopefully in four weeks, like they said, but we all know what four weeks became the last time. But this one should be a little shorter due to the uh, vaccine rolling out eventually. Um, but let's say it's only four weeks. The class tonight in week five will now have their week six once the lockdown is over on the very first Wednesday. Um, I had one class that actually only came in with their first orientation lesson without a dog and they're actually supposed to start with the dog tomorrow. That's got to be canceled, unfortunately. Um, majority of my people, clients, they've been really understanding, some not so much, and are giving me a hard time. Everything's listed on the website, the rules of COVID, what happens if there's a shutdown, everything just gets moved forward. Now, one thing I wanna to say to anybody that's watching this already has a dog here, this happened twice to me. <laughs> and two things happen, either A, people are in week four or five halfway through, they still got three or four or five lessons, they go home and they practice the first four, just like I told them. <laughs> and they practice and they work and they work hard. And then after the shutdown, it just happened on March 8th, some of the dogs that were back in December came back like they've been doing this for a year. That's how good they got at the three or four lessons that they did have. Other people, Eric wasn't there to, you know, give them any pointers or whatever. <laughs> Eric wasn't there to scream at them during the class. Just kidding, but you understand what I mean. I wasn't there to critique them each week. They kind of let everything go. Um, so let's hopefully get everybody that is in the class right now, even if you only had one or two lessons, let's make those two lessons better than anything I've ever seen next time we come back. They're saying uh, 28 days, 28 days, I believe. May 6th. May 6th. Um, so hopefully it's May 6th that we're allowed to open. If you are, I've only had three lessons. You better come back with those three lessons. So amazing, I hope. The opposite happened a lot too. <laughs> um, where some people that were before Christmas on their last lockdown, they were pretty good. They had classes that were really good. And then they came back and it was a disaster because those people stopped working. But anyway, so now we're in the new shutdown again, and it affects dog training, unfortunately. A gray lockdown doesn't, the stay at home orders does. So once, even if we go back to the color code system, we'll be allowed back to work. Again, I've updated this website like this several times. <laughs> updated it for each lockdown, updated it for new things that were happening. Updated it when they told us we were allowed to open on February 2nd or 22nd. And then they changed their mind at the last minute and moved it to March 8th for Toronto and Peel. But hopefully this will only be the 14 days. Um, you're talking to a guy that was always on board with the government. Um, I was always like, yeah, yeah, let's do whatever they say. Trusted them. Uh, I've had enough. I've had enough of this. It's affecting too many businesses. I, I know. I understand people are getting sick. I got COVID myself in January and I have heart disease. So I'm what's considered a, a high risk. But it wasn't that bad for me, and I know it affects everybody different. But hopefully, the one thing I am for is everybody getting vaccines, because I want to go back to Blue Jay games. I want to go back to training. I want to go back to having parties and having people over. I want to go back to all that stuff. So well, let's hopefully everybody gets their vaccine. They're apparently rolling it out this month a lot, and we're back to training. Um, and we do have the new location that I worked on so hard. I still got some renovations to do there, so hopefully I'm going to take this opportunity to get that done. Um, Again, I have to apologize. Like, I'm at a point now where I'm like, okay, enough. Open, close, open, close, open, close. But really, my hands are tied here. My hands are tied. There's nothing I can do. Again, I appreciate everybody's understanding. And a lot of people are reaching out to me. Hey, we get it. Don't worry. We'll be there when you get back. Hopefully, everybody takes that 
that stance or a little more people because I'm really, there's nothing I can do. Okay, so thank you for listening to this. Hopefully this is, I said this the last time, but hopefully this is the last update I'll make, except the update when we're allowed to open. And hopefully the vaccines will happen and we'll never ever have to close again, I hope. Okay, thank you very much. Talk to you soon.